what would you imagine a refugee could tell a tech entrepreneur about starting over? While their lived experiences might be completely different, it turns out they also have a lot in common. Welcome to Otherwise Insights. Thanks so much for joining me as I talk to fascinating people from all walks of life. Otherwise Insights brings together business leaders with people from completely different backgrounds to talk about leadership and entrepreneurship topics that are relevant to both of them. It resonates because it's so different, but it's still the same way of doing it. On this show, you'll discover that leadership wisdom lives in many different places. Each episode focuses on a different topic, like reading a room, bootstrapping, and adapting when things go wrong. We always feature two experts who approach the subject from different angles. In many ways, mine and Holly's world are, are very similar in that we're sort of every day waiting for that moment when something has broken to then figure out if it's fixable or not. On the show, you'll hear conversations between an Air Force general and a CEO about building culture on remote teams. You'll listen to a diplomat and the director of a business accelerator talk about influence and building ecosystems. You can even hear an FBI agent and a CEO talk about staying calm under pressure. In a time where people focus on what sets them apart, Otherwise Insights looks at the intersections of our experiences and discovers what we can learn from each other. I gotta tell you, I, I knew I was gonna learn uh, a lot today. I already, I've already had one big aha moment. So how did it start? My name is Katerina Jones, and I'm a leadership coach and consultant. Before becoming a coach, I worked in strategy and operations in the tech sector for about 10 years. So that means I've worked with a lot of leaders. I've seen some great examples of leadership and some not so great examples of leadership. I'm always looking for the little nuggets of wisdom that can support leaders like you in your professional development. So the day that I realized that some of the best leadership advice can come from outside the boardroom, I was volunteering in a prison. I was teaching about empathy and communication. During the workshop, a prisoner came in late. So he apologized and he said he was preparing for his parole hearing, which seemed like a reasonable excuse to me. It was also a great time to model what we were teaching. So I asked the prisoner how he was feeling about it. And what he said really surprised me. He said, I'm nervous, but I'm trying to focus on what I can control and let go of what I can't control. He was highlighting something that I wish a lot more leaders understood. So I'll be honest, I did not expect such simple but profound wisdom to come from him. It expanded my worldview on where our best leadership lessons can actually come from. So after that experience, I started finding brilliant lessons in what seemed like unexpected places. Over time, however, I started to realize that leadership skills are ubiquitous. People from all walks of life, especially when they are put under pressure, have to learn how to lead themselves and others. So I love learning from all kinds of people. That's what makes these conversations so fun. I've also discovered they're pretty fun for the people I interviewed too. Wow, that was really, uh, really amazing to listen to. I think uh, what really stood out as well in that is the power of story. And they can be incredibly powerful. If at the end, if it blows up and there's just a pile of ashes, I will stand in the ashes alone and take all the blame. Mm -hmm. And if it goes well, I will share all the credit. Mm. In Otherwise Insights, we compare and contrast situations, and then we build on each other's experiences so we can discover the best of all worlds and become better leaders together. The magic is in the intersections. People are people and leadership is leadership, and that's why the more we can talk with leaders from all different places, Better off, better we can be. Thank you for listening. I am so glad that you're here with me to absorb these wise insights from others. These conversations have made me a better leader and coach, and I hope you'll find great wisdom to apply in your life too. I would love to hear what you think, who you want to hear from next, and what questions you think I should be asking. So feel free to reach out to me through the website at otherwiseinsights.com. And to be the first to know about new episodes, please subscribe.